Weekend arrived, and Cece came back home. I prepared a table full of dishes, and the family gathered for a lunch together. After the meal, Zhang Zhen went out, mentioning that he needed to handle some matters at the company. I sat Cece down on the sofa after a brief chat about her studies. Changing the subject, I said, Cece, there have been some issues in mom and dad's relationship recently. We know it must be tough for you, but no matter what happens, you must believe that mom and dad love you. Moreover, we are working hard to mend things. Your dad has promised to come back to the family, and I am trying to forgive and accept him. Don't worry too much, mom and dad will figure this out. Cece lowered her head, and large teardrops fell onto her light blue jeans, quickly dampening a portion. She sobbed, saying, Mom, maybe you should go back to work. I feel dad is too unreliable. Even though he is willing to support the family now, what about the future? What if, aside from other women outside, he becomes arrogant because you can't live without him? You should go to work, even if you earn less, it's better than being at the mercy of others. My heart stung, accompanied by a profound sense of guilt. After all these years, I felt less clear about life than a 14 or 15 year old child. I hugged Cece, patting her back gently. You're right. After I finish this busy period, no matter where mom and dad end up, I won't let myself be so passive. I'll go find a job, even if it means going back to my old profession. At that moment, the doorbell rang. I wiped away Cece's tears, walked to the door, and opened it. To my surprise, Wang Fang's face appeared in front of me. Unlike the pitiful appearance from the last time, this time, she had a slight smile on her lips, a provocative smirk. My whole body tensed, and I involuntarily straightened my back, slamming the door shut with all my might. But it was too late, Wang Fang had already entered. Behind her, there was a woman of similar age. She smiled and introduced, this is my cousin, also a relative. We came here today to have a good talk about the issues between Zhang Zhen and me. I was burning with anger. This mistress was too audacious, challenging my bottom line again and again. If it weren't for Cece by my side, I would have torn her apart. Cece rushed over, probably guessing the identity of the visitors. She shouted at Wang Fang, go away. Get out. I pulled Cece to the side, asking her to go to her room and do her homework, stating that adults didn't need a child's involvement in their affairs. Wang Fang and her cousin, uninvited, sat down on the sofa without any politeness. Wang Fang casually picked up a glass of water and drank it all in one go. She wiped her mouth, seemingly smiling but not, and said, Gu Jia, we're both women. You have a ruthless heart. Last time, I begged you, but you wouldn't divorce Zhang Zhen. It led to me losing my child and almost losing my life. I can't swallow this anger. It was unbelievable. Such shameless people actually existed in this world. I snorted coldly, make it clear, it's Zhang Zhen who refused the divorce. Whether he marries you or not has nothing to do with me. Of course, it does. Your man has other women outside. He often scolds you as an old, faded wife in front of me. You still stubbornly hold on to him. If you were determined to divorce him, he wouldn't have let me go through a miscarriage. Okay, tell him that he should leave with nothing, and he must give me one million. I'll divorce him then. Wang Fang got up, slammed the table, and exclaimed, One million. Are you robbing money? Look at yourself and see if you're worth it. Both of you are not good people. Zhang Zhen is tired of playing with me, wants to dump me, and you, tell him, he has nowhere to go. If he doesn't give me an explanation, I'll cause a scene at his workplace. Damn it, both of you are despicable, both are wretched bones. Then, her words abruptly stopped because, behind her, Cece held a rolling pin and fiercely knocked it on her head. She couldn't stand steady and stumbled onto the sofa. After all, she had just undergone surgery, and her body had not fully recovered. Her so-called cousin tried to snatch the rolling pin from Cece. I grabbed her, and Cece, holding the rolling pin, swung it towards her cousin. Wang Fang, who had fallen on the sofa, also got up to join the chaos. The scene became a complete mess. Cece was still young, and I was afraid she might get hurt. I quickly took out my phone and dialed 110. Then, I called Zhang Zhen, hurry back. Your daughter is being attacked by your mistress. Wang Fang, realizing I had called the police, hastily fled with her cousin. The police arrived almost simultaneously with Zhang Zhen. As soon as Zhang Zhen entered, he urgently asked, What happened to Cici? Where is she injured? Is it serious? Cici burst into tears, Dad, these two bad women attacked me and also hit my mom. 
My head hurts, my chest hurts, my arms hurt. Cici rolled up her sleeves and lifted her hair to show Zhang Zhen. I only then noticed several bruises on Cici's forehead and arms. Heartbroken, I yelled at Zhang Zhen, this is all because of your good deeds. Your mistress dares to lay hands on your daughter. Do you still deserve to be a father? Zhang Zhen frowned, don't talk about useless things. Let's go to the hospital first. Zhang Zhen took Cici to the hospital, and I went to the police station with the police to make a statement. I must say, the police station's handling of the case was surprisingly swift. Before I finished my statement, Wang Fang and her cousin were already brought to the police station. At this point, Wang Fang had completely lost the arrogance she displayed earlier, appearing disheveled. After leaving the police station, I hurried to the hospital. Zhang Zhen had already finished the examination with Cici lying on the bed, receiving in four. Tears streamed down my face with worry. Cici, holding my hand pitifully, said, Mom, my head still hurts. Zhang Zhen, looking both awkward and ashamed, stroked Cici's forehead, rest well. Trust that dad can handle this matter. After Zhang Zhen left, Cici revealed a cunning smile, Mom, did I act well? If dad can admit his mistakes and change, this beating won't be in vain. I pondered over Cici's words that seemed beyond her age, feeling a mix of emotions. Wang Fang and her cousin were detained for 10 days and fined 500 yuan for illegally entering a private residence and assaulting someone. 10 days of detention weren't too long, but it meant both of them would lose their jobs. Wang Fang didn't care much, just a small receptionist at a hotel. However, her cousin was different. After finally establishing herself in the company, if she didn't work for 10 days, the consequences would be evident. So, they found someone to plead for my forgiveness, willing to bear Cici's medical and nursing expenses, just hoping I could forgive them. As soon as Zhang Zhen heard about it, his eyes lit up, wife, I was wrong. Please help me get rid of this big trouble. I promise to focus on you and Cici from now on. We can still be a complete family. Whether Zhang Zhen would treat me well, I couldn't be sure, but he indeed treated Cici well. In this world, besides him, I couldn't find another man who cared for Cici so wholeheartedly. Moreover, I didn't really want a divorce. Enduring humiliation and bearing the weight of the family for so long was all to preserve this home, wasn't it? Therefore, I had no reason not to agree. I had someone convey to Wang Fang that I could forgive her without any compensation, but she must cut ties with Zhang Zhen. Otherwise, I would retain the right to continue pursuing her responsibilities, and I would also reclaim all the money Zhang Zhen spent on her. Wang Fang agreed. After that, Zhang Zhen did indeed show improvement. The frequency and duration of his returns home changed significantly. Sometimes he even helped with household chores, and during holidays, he took me and Cece on outings. Just when I thought I had finally saved this home and silently congratulated myself, a sudden event shattered my beliefs, causing a pain that made me question life. One day, a stranger added me on WeChat. Without much thought, I accepted the request. Five minutes later, they sent me several photos. As I opened each one, all the blood in my body rushed to my head, and the pain was so intense that I could hardly breathe. In the photos, Zhang Zhen was wearing swim trunks, exposing his muscular physique. Wang Fang wore a bikini, smiling alluringly and triumphantly. Every expression and movement seemed more piercing than the scorching sun, piercing my heart with a thousand wounds. They were together again. The repentance and return of Zhang Zhen, the assurances and surrender of Wang Fang, were all as fleeting as a fireworks display, and none of it lasted as foul smells do. Soon after, Wang Fang sent a voice message, Sister Gu, I'm sorry. I really didn't intend to break my promise. But breaking up is always painful for a few days. Every time I cry, Zhang Zhen softens. It seems he still loves me. Of course, I love him too. I figured it out. It doesn't matter whether he divorces or not. I just want him to love me. Look, we are currently on vacation by the seaside. Did he tell you he's on a business trip? This challenging message made the blood in my entire body boil. I wished I could grab a knife and chop off that pair of adulterers right away. But sadly, I realized I was powerless, except for my own pain and despair. When I forgave Wang Fang initially, those words were just a bluff, a last resort to preserve the family. I had already issued a letter of forgiveness, the case was closed, and the police station wasn't my family's business. They wouldn't hold Wang Fang accountable based on my words. As for demanding Zhang Zhen to pay back the money he spent on her, if Zhang Zhen didn't cooperate, it would be challenging to gather evidence. 
demanding it would be even more difficult. Moreover, I didn't have the energy to entangle myself with this rotten couple. Suppressing the rage surging in my heart, I called Zhang Zhen and asked where he was. His voice was calm, I'm still out of town. It's tricky with the head of the department at the hospital here. I'll finish up here and return immediately. I sneered inwardly, pretending so well. He deserved an Oscar. It was only now that I understood, once a man cheated, bringing him back was impossible unless he was castrated. Dogs couldn't change their nature, especially when the feces they were licking were still warm and alluring. How could a dog endure it? I locked myself at home, not stepping outside for three days, finally figuring out some things. When a woman no longer sees a man as a lover but as a free ATM, life becomes much more relaxed without expectations, and there is less hurt. I bought several outfits and bags I had always hesitated to buy, went to a beauty salon for a facial, and changed my hairstyle at a hair salon. I adorned myself from head to toe. Standing in front of the mirror, I silently cheered myself on, Gu Min, from now on, you must live as a brand new self. When Zhang Zhen saw me after returning, his eyes noticeably brightened for a moment. With a puzzled tone, he asked, where are you planning to go? I smiled, can't I dress up a bit if I'm not going anywhere? Honey, I figured it out. A woman's youth lasts only a few years. While I can still grasp a bit of that youth's tale, I shouldn't shortchange myself. Moreover, I shouldn't embarrass you and Cici. What do you think? Zhang Zhen, as long as you figured it out. You indeed need to spruce up a bit. You didn't pay much attention to your appearance before. Well, that's true. When I pick up Cici, other moms are all radiant and beautiful. I used to be just a middle-aged woman. Thinking about the past, ah, forget it, let's not talk about it. Look at the fat on my waist. I joined a yoga class, a bit expensive, and my money isn't enough. So, Zhang Zhen generously transferred me some money, instructing me to practice diligently. Considering the money, I had to get rid of the excess fat on my body. Cece came back and saw my changes, her eyes filled with surprise. Mom, you should have done this earlier. Many of my classmates used to mock me behind my back, and I didn't dare to tell you. Mock me about what? Cece hesitated, they said you were too foolish. Even with dad making so much money, you were reluctant to spend it. They believed someday another woman would spend it for you. Kids nowadays are really sharp. I smiled, stroking Cece's head. Spending a man's money doesn't show any skill. Earning your own money is the real skill. That's why I wanted you to work, suddenly, Cece seemed to remember something and asked, Mom, did dad really break up with that woman? You shouldn't be too trusting. Don't worry, your dad knows he was wrong, and mom will be careful. I maintained a calm appearance, but my heart had already collapsed. Two months later, I successfully shed off over 10 kilograms. My facial skin tightened, and I looked much better overall. Although Zhang Zhen still didn't come home often, engaging in activities with Wang Fang, I had developed immunity to these hurts. I no longer felt that deep, bone-penetrating pain. All my endurance without retaliation was accumulating energy. Wang Fang still occasionally sent provocative photos and voice messages, but I chose to ignore them all, neither blocking her nor responding. This was the most potent weapon against her provocations. I could imagine her frustration when her challenges were met with indifference. One day, I called Zhang Zhen, asking him to come home for dinner after work. I prepared a table of dishes that Zhang Zhen loved. He looked a bit moved, what day is it today? Why is it so sumptuous? I smiled, you work so hard. Can't we have something good on a regular day? I told Zhang Zhen that Cici would soon be in the third year of junior high, with heavy tasks and tight schedules. So, I wanted to change to a more spacious and comfortable car. This way, Cece could lie down comfortably and get some rest on the road, ensuring more energetic learning. Zhang Zhen agreed without hesitation. As long as it involved his daughter's interests, he would never refuse, as long as he could do it. Honestly, Zhang Zhen wasn't a scumbag. He might not be a good husband, but he was definitely a good father. I sold the car to a used car dealer, and Zhang Zhen transferred me some money. I then purchased a new SUV from a dealership. I didn't consult Zhang Zhen, the car was registered in my name alone. A week later, Zhang Zhen looked solemn, a bit timid and appeasing, as he hesitated to discuss something with me. I was applying a face mask and felt a sinking in my heart, anticipating that it wasn't good news. Sure enough, Zhang Zhen said that Wang Fang was pregnant again. She was determined to keep the child this time. 
His mother was pressuring him too, saying that if he dared to have the child aborted, she would die in front of him. I ripped off the face mask, threw it into the trash can, and sternly said, didn't you promise to cut ties with her? Didn't you beg me to help you get rid of her? Were those all just empty words? Zhang Zhen knelt down to me with a thud, Gu Min, back then, I really wanted to break up with her completely, but she wouldn't give up. She kept clinging to me, crying and making a scene, threatening suicide. So, I? I coldly chuckled, so, you softened. You really know how to pity and cherish the delicate. Pretending to be pitiful, faking suicides, who can't do that? Can you handle all that? Zhang Zhen grabbed my arm, raised his head, and begged me, Gu Min, I'm begging you. Back then, I really wanted to break up with her. But she was relentless, always pestering me, crying and making a scene, threatening suicide. So, I? I sneered, so, you softened. You really know how to pity and cherish the delicate. Pretending to be pitiful, faking suicides, who can't do that? Can you handle all that? Zhang Zhen's gaze shifted from pleading to resentment, Gu Min, are you really disregarding the affection between us as a couple for so many years? Do you have to be so ruthless? Yes, I was this ruthless. I had to be so ruthless. I gritted my teeth, ruthless? That's what I learned from you. From now on, you can stay with her as much as you want, I won't stop you. But don't hurt Cece. If Cece suffers even a bit because of this, we're not finished. Try me. Later, my mother-in-law came to beg me, asking for space for her grandson. I didn't even open the door for her, and she left cursing angrily. To take care of the mistress who was carrying the air, Zhang Zhen really stopped coming home. He would only come for a meal and stay overnight when Cici came back on weekends, just to put on a facade. Several months later, I heard from our mutual friends that Wang Fang had given birth to a son. Zhang Zhen was overjoyed, and his face now had several more wrinkles. My mother-in-law was also delighted and packed her bags to take care of the mistress during her postpartum period. One day, as soon as I returned home from outside, I saw my mother-in-law standing at my doorstep. I frowned, what are you here for? If you've come to persuade me to divorce, you better not speak. My mother-in-law's face turned unpleasant, Gu Min, even if I'm not your mother-in-law, at least I'm Cece's grandmother. It's not appropriate to stop me from entering. Given the situation, I had no choice but to open the door. I only hated myself for not being ruthless enough. I couldn't bring myself to kick her out completely. Sure enough, as soon as my mother-in-law entered, she began to act pitiful and begged me. She said that since the child was born, continuing this standoff was not beneficial to anyone. It would be better to let them go and allow me to find someone else while I was still young. I couldn't help but laugh with a hint of disdain, I don't need your help finding someone. Besides, if I want to find someone, I can do it even without getting a divorce. Isn't that what your son is doing? My mother-in-law bit her lip, Gu Min, considering the relationship between us as mother-in-law and daughter-in-law over the years, can't you just divorce Zhang Zhen? Wang Fang has been causing trouble at home, saying that if she doesn't get legal recognition, she will take the child away, and will never see him again. The relationship between mother-in-law and daughter-in-law? She had the nerve to mention that. She really overestimated herself. I sneered, fine, if you want a divorce, tell Zhang Zhen that the house, the car, and the child all belong to me. In addition, he needs to give me 500,000. If he agrees to these conditions, I'll agree to the divorce. My mother-in-law's face turned green with anger, and she left slamming the door. I knew my mother-in-law was just testing the waters for Zhang Zhen. Whether we divorced and how we divorced would still be up to us to decide. Zhang Zhen said that all the family property would be mine, the custody of our daughter would also be mine, and he would pay child support. However, he couldn't come up with the 500,000. If I wasn't willing, then it would have to be postponed. Being a couple for over a decade, he had long seen through my thoughts. He knew that deep down, I really wanted a divorce. So, he used a strategy of tempting me to see if I would yield. I glanced at him, no money? Can you afford to support a mistress and buy her a house? That's joint marital property. Moreover, living openly with that woman and having a child, that's committing bigamy. You're a college graduate, don't you understand this common sense? Zhang Zhen immediately froze, staring at me without saying a word. In the end, Zhang Zhen agreed to my conditions and signed the divorce agreement. After completing the procedures at the Civil Affairs Bureau, I let out a long sigh. I never knew that getting rid of this suffocating and foul-smelling marriage could be so refreshing. 
In these two years of marital turmoil, the most significant gain for me was growth amid hurt and betrayal. I was no longer the woman who felt like she lost the whole world upon discovering her husband's affair. Weakness was no longer in my character, it had become my weapon against risks. I told Zhang Zhen that Cici was about to take the high school entrance exam, and to not affect her mood, let's keep the divorce a secret for now. After the exam, I would slowly break the news to her. Zhang Zhen, who loved Cici deeply, had no reason to refuse. However, secrets couldn't be hidden forever. Despite Zhang Zhen coming home every weekend for a meal and sometimes staying overnight, the coldness and distance between us were apparent, and Cici eventually noticed the cracks. One day, out of the blue, Cici asked me, Mom, is Dad back together with that woman again? I felt a chill down my spine, my heart reached my throat, and instinctively, I wanted to find an excuse to deny it, but I couldn't bring myself to say anything. At this point, any excuse would only make things worse. Cece glanced at me and said, Mom, just tell me the truth. I'm not a child anymore, and I have the right to know what's happening in this family. Summoning all my courage, I told Cece everything without holding back, the rekindled relationship between Zhang Zhen and Wang Fang, the provocative photos sent by Wang Fang, the pressure from Zhang Zhen and my mother-in-law to divorce, and the divorce conditions I proposed. I thought Cece, upon hearing about the divorce, would at least be tearful or feel sad and distressed. However, to my surprise, she calmly said, you finally got divorced, with a relieved expression. Seeing my astonished look, Cece took my hand, rested her head on my shoulder, and softly said, Mom, you really don't need to endure humiliation for my sake. I see you pretending every day, looking so tired and pitiful, and it hurts me. For me, a complete family is important, but I prefer to see Mom happy. This false harmony in the family only makes me feel more oppressed. Fortunately, you two finally divorced. I hadn't expected that the child I had carefully protected in the palm of my hand had a much greater psychological resilience than I imagined. I felt both relieved and deeply moved. I caressed Cece's head, saying, Don't worry about mom. I've come to terms with it. Trying to keep your dad here against his will would not make things better for him, and I would be more miserable. I also need to live my own life from now on. Cece lifted her head, her eyes gleaming, Mom, you finally figured it out. I told you, you should have your own life. Dad is not reliable. I sighed, don't say that about your dad. Regardless of what happens between us, he will always be your dad. His love for you will never change. I hope our issues won't affect the father-daughter relationship between you two. Don't harbor resentment against him. Cece bit her lip, Mom, he did something wrong to you and the family, but he's still my dad. I can choose not to hate him, but I won't love him again. I informed Cece that I had found a job at a private hospital. During this time, I would review my professional knowledge, and after her high school entrance exam, I would start working. Upon hearing that I had found a job, Cece was even more excited than I was, Mom, you don't have to wait until after my exam. You can start working now. I can take care of myself. I hesitated, are you sure? Absolutely. Look, I usually stay in the school dormitory and only come home once a week. I have an automatic washing machine, and I can cook something simple myself. I can also order takeout. If you have time, you can pick me up. If not, I can take the bus, it's quite convenient. A warmth filled my heart, and my eyes welled up with mist. My daughter had grown up. I followed Cece's advice and started working at the private hospital. After more than a decade of being away from work, I struggled a bit at the beginning, but thanks to my previous work experience and foundation, I soon adapted, working skillfully. Although it was tough, and the salary wasn't very high, in the midst of busyness, I finally found my own value. I radiated a sense of pride, living a life full of vitality. Three months later, Cece got admitted to a prestigious high school. When Zhang Zhen found out, he took her out for a meal and gave her a generous red envelope. As for me, I had no contact with him. I was determined to completely sever all ties with the past and wholeheartedly embark on a new life. One day, I happened to see my former mother-in-law and Zhang Zhen bringing the child to the hospital. I didn't want any more interactions with them, so I quickly avoided them. Later, unable to resist my curiosity, I went to the pediatric department, pretending to be a relative of the child. Normally, a child so young would be brought by the mother, but I never saw Wang Fang. The pediatric nurse informed me that Zhang Zhen's young son had pneumonia and would need to stay in the hospital for at least 10 days. 
Your relative is quite unlucky. After a second marriage, they finally had a son, but the wife ran away. The nurse gossiped. This news caught me off guard. Wasn't Wang Fang eager to marry Zhang Zhen? Why would she run away? Hearing this, my emotions were mixed, and the satisfaction I expected didn't come. In the end, when it came to my former love, I couldn't be as ruthless as I hoped. I work as a nurse in the internal medicine department. One day, Zhang Zhen's younger sister brought her mother-in-law to the hospital. When she saw me, she was first surprised, then excited, as if she had found a lifesaver, Gu Min, you work in this hospital. Help me find a reliable doctor to check on my mother-in-law. Then, she leaned close to my ear, lowering her voice, avoid unnecessary tests, prescribe medicines that can be reimbursed by medical insurance as much as possible. You know our family's financial situation. Considering the previous family relationship, I had no reason not to help. Nowadays, hospitals generally prescribe extensive medication, and poor families can't afford it. I assisted Zhang Zhen's sister, and she was very grateful, trying to please me. She started chatting incessantly. Previously, Zhang Zhen's sister had a difficult relationship with her sister-in-law, my former mother-in-law. They frequently clashed openly and secretly. Now, seizing the opportunity to make fun of her and gain my favor, she wouldn't easily let it go. After my divorce from Zhang Zhen, he had been procrastinating marrying Wang Fang. The reason was that Zhang Zhen accidentally found out that Wang Fang had worked at a nightclub before. Not only that, before getting involved with Zhang Zhen, Wang Fang had been financially supported by two older men. She specifically targeted older men, seeking an easy life by lying down and enjoying the benefits. However, those older men never intended to marry her, they would play with her for a while and then kick her aside. After getting involved with Zhang Zhen, she put in all her efforts to win him over. Zhang Zhen was completely deceived by her innocent appearance, never expecting her to have such deep scheming and a complicated romantic history. Failing to push Zhang Zhen into marriage and burdened by the child, Wang Fang's postpartum emotions became unstable, leading to frequent arguments with Zhang Zhen's mother. At some point, she started a relationship with one of her former benefactors, who had lost his wife. This time, the man was willing to marry her, so she abandoned the child to pursue a new life. Do you know? Zhang Zhen's sister seemed a bit gloating. Your mother-in-law, oh no, Zhang Zhen's mom, is exhausted every day, taking care of Zhang Zhen's child. She's upset and often argues with Zhang Zhen. He blames his mother for insisting on having a grandson and breaking up his peaceful home. Mother and son often quarrel. I never expected such an outcome. Looking at my sister-in-law's excited expression, I could only smile and let it be. No matter what he became, he had nothing to do with me anymore. However, I didn't expect my former mother-in-law and Zhang Zhen to come again. But this time, their purpose was the opposite of before, they came to ask for my remarriage. My former mother-in-law's eyes were timid, with an exaggerated smile on her face, devoid of the previous arrogance. Um, Gu Min, please forgive us and sin. Adults shouldn't hold grudges against children. This is all my fault, it's all because I insisted that Zhang Zhen give me a grandson. Otherwise, he wouldn't have done such a despicable thing. This man, having a little affair outside is normal. As long as he still has you in his heart and this home, we can continue to live this way. During the divorce, he gave most of the property to you. He is, after all, Shishi's biological father. It's better to have something than nothing, right? That child is over a year old, can walk and eat by himself. It won't be much trouble to raise him. You essentially get a big son effortlessly. It's so good. You, your husband, and your daughter can live happily as a family of four. My former mother-in-law was really caring, planning my future life for me. It must be tough for her. I gave a disdainful smile, Madam, you're so generous and compassionate. Why don't you let Zhang Zhen's dad have a few more for you outside? You won't have to bear the burden of pregnancy and childbirth, just pick up a ready-made grandchild. Isn't that enjoyable? My mother-in-law's smile froze on her face, and Zhang Zhen quickly took over, Gu Min, my mom didn't mean that. Please don't overthink it. It's all my fault for being blinded by her innocent appearance. I really realize my mistake this time. As long as you agree to remarry, I'll give you all the money I earn in the future. You don't have to raise the child, I'll hire a nanny. You'll be in charge of this family from now on. I didn't want to listen to Zhang Zhen's plea for remarriage. I interrupted him, don't rush to beg me to remarry. First, analyze it for me. You say I have a house, money to spend, and a sensible daughter. 
Am I idle or well-fed, needing a man to serve me, adopting someone else's child, and adding an aging mother-in-law to take care of? Am I insane or lacking intelligence? My former mother-in-law and Zhang Zhen looked at each other in silence. Thinking about remarriage, dream on. I didn't expect that, failing to get me to agree, they shifted their focus to Xi Xi. They played the emotional card, saying no matter what, Zhang Zhen was still her biological father, and the child was her real brother. She couldn't deny this. I asked Xi Xi, do you agree with mom remarrying dad? Xi Xi replied, of course, I won't agree. I don't care about having a so-called little brother, but mom, if you want to remarry dad, don't worry about my feelings. I respect your decision. After all, I will go to college and work in the future. You'll be lonely alone, and you need someone to accompany you. I smiled, silly girl, even if mom needs company, I don't need someone like your dad. Rest assured, even if you're not with me, I'll be fine. I have money, and when I retire, I'll travel around in my car, just like that Aunt Su Min. I wasn't joking, that's genuinely what I wanted. I had a house, a car, and a good amount of savings. My job was going well, and I had caught up on the overdue pension contributions. After retiring, I would have a decent pension to rely on. When I retired, I planned to drive around, exploring the world. At the beginning, when Wang Feng sent me provocative photos, I called Zhang Zhen, but he claimed to be on a business trip. I knew then that Zhang Zhen still didn't want a divorce. This was just Wang Feng's means to force me to divorce. So, no matter how she provoked me, I remained unmoved. If I got angry and mentioned divorce to Zhang Zhen, I would fall into her trap. I pretended to know nothing and just asked Zhang Zhen for money as much as possible. At that time, money gave me a sense of security more than a man could. During that period, I had someone investigate and found out that Wang Feng had relationships with several older men. So, I knew her purpose in clinging to Zhang Zhen was to force him to divorce and marry her. As for her previous work in a nightclub, I truly didn't know, and it surprised me. I knew Wang Feng's ultimate goal was to force me to divorce, so I waited. I waited for the right time, when she gave birth to a son and couldn't bear it any longer, to propose conditions. This would increase the chances of success. Even if Zhang Zhen didn't propose a divorce, I would. His open cohabitation with Wang Feng and having a child together was the evidence I needed to control him. I wasn't afraid he wouldn't agree to my divorce conditions. The 500,000 yuan was a carefully considered amount. I knew Zhang Zhen had some money, but not too much. He could afford this sum, but it would still hurt. My goal was to divorce and maximize my share of the property. I didn't want to entangle myself too much with a rotten person. Sure enough, Zhang Zhen, although reluctant, agreed. But I didn't expect that he would refuse to marry Wang Feng after learning about her romantic history. Men are truly hypocritical, allowing themselves to flirt around while unable to accept that their woman had other men in her past. He never thought about it, if Wang Feng was truly innocent and loyal, why would she end up with him? In fact, he should have realized that a woman willing to abandon moral principles to seduce him would do the same to others. Now, it's been over two years since I divorced Zhang Zhen. Xi Xi is diligent and focused on her studies, requiring less of my worry. This year, she will take the college entrance exam, and her teachers say she can easily get into a top-tier university. I would like to advise all the sisters who have experienced betrayal, if life deceives you, don't wallow in self-pity. Don't think it will garner a man's sympathy, and don't expect him to mend his ways. Instead of confronting him head-on, work on building yourself up. Becoming strong enough to resist risks is a woman's most powerful revenge weapon.